How safe is Genuine Parts Company's dividend? On July 25, 2019, Genuine Parts Company re reported second quarter earnings results for the period ending June 30, 2019. This video provides an update on the company's dividend safety using its most recent operating results. Before we begin, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and like this video, which will help more people discover Sure Dividends investor education efforts. With that out of the way, let's dig into Genuine Parts Company's dividend. To begin, let's talk about Genuine Parts' business model. Genuine Parts is a leader in the automotive and industrial parts sector. The company operates 3,100 locations with nearly 50,000 employees throughout North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Genuine Parts has a market capitalization of $13.4 billion, with annual revenues approaching $20 billion. Genuine Parts is one of the world's most popular dividend growth stocks. The company's current dividend yield is 3.3%. Moreover, Genuine Parts is a consistent dividend grower. In fact, the company has increased its annual dividend payment for 63 consecutive years. Because of this, Genuine Parts qualifies to be a member of the Dividend Aristocrats, an exclusive group of dividend stocks with more than 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. Genuine Parts is also a member of the Dividend Kings Index, a group of even more exclusive stocks with 50-plus years of dividend increases. For the remainder of this video, we will discuss Genuine Parts dividend safety from four perspectives. Its dividend safety in the context of its current earnings, its dividend safety in the context of its current free cash flow, its dividend safety in the context of its recession performance, its dividend safety in the context of its current debt load. Genuine Parts Dividend Safety Relative to Earnings First, let's discuss Genuine Parts Dividend Safety in the context of the company's current earnings. In the second quarter of fiscal 2019, Genuine Parts generated adjusted earnings per share of $1.57, which compared unfavorably to the $1.59 of adjusted earnings per share in the same period a year ago. For context, Genuine Parts currently pays a quarterly dividend of $0.762 cents per share, which implies a payout ratio of 49% in the most recent quarter. Looking out over a longer time horizon, our conclusion is the same. Genuine Parts generated $2.85 of adjusted earnings per share in the first half of fiscal 2019. The company distributed $1.524 common share dividends during the same time period for a dividend payout ratio of 53% in the full fiscal year. Using earnings, Genuine Parts dividend appears very safe for the foreseeable future. Parts dividend safety relative to free cash flow. Many analysts believe that comparing a company's dividend payments to its free cash flow is a better method for assessing dividend safety. Accordingly, we will now compare Genuine Parts' current dividend payment to its free cash flow. Genuine Parts generated $240 million of cash flow from operating activities in the second quarter of fiscal 2019 and spent $61 million on capital expenditures during the same time period for free cash flow of $179 million. The company distributed $111 million of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payout ratio of 62%. Looking out over a longer time horizon, the company's payout ratio is higher. Genuine Parts generated $301 million of cash flow from operating activities in the first half of fiscal 2019 and spent $109 million on capital expenditures for free cash flow of $194 million. The company distributed $217 million of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payout ratio of 203%. Using free cash flow, Genuine Parts Dividend appears at risk for a dividend cut if the long-term trend for this metric doesn't improve. Investors should monitor this situation moving forward. Genuine Parts Dividend Safety Relative to Recession Performance Companies do not cut their dividends in the good times. Instead, dividends are reduced when companies experience financial difficulties. Accordingly, this section will analyze Genuine Parts' current dividend safety in the context of the company's historical recession performance. We believe that the best way to measure a company's recession resiliency 
is by measuring its earnings per share performance during the financial crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2009. Genuine parts performance during this time period is shown here. 2007, adjusted earnings per share, $2.98. 2008, adjusted earnings per share, $2.92. 2009, adjusted earnings per share, $2.50. 2010, adjusted earnings per share, $3.00. 2011, adjusted earnings per share, $3.58. 2012, adjusted earnings per share, $4.14. 2013, adjusted earnings per share, $4.19. Genuine Parts adjusted earnings per share declined 16.1% from 2007 to 2009. The company was able to produce a new high for adjusted earnings per share, the very next year. In fact, Genuine Parts has seen adjusted earnings per share improve every year since the end of the last recession, except for 2016. More importantly, the company's earnings still covered its dividend payment, and Genuine Parts continued its streak of dividend increases. Because of this, we have little concerns about the company's ability to pay rising dividends during future economic downturns. Genuine Parts Dividend Safety relative to its current debt load. The last angle that we will use to assess Genuine Parts' current dividend safety is by looking at the company's current debt level, which is a cause of concern for many investors. More specifically, we will see how much the company's weighted average interest would have to increase before its free cash flow would no longer cover its dividend payment. At the end of the second quarter of fiscal 2019, Genuine Parts had $3.9 billion of total debt outstanding. The company generated $23 million in interest expense in the most recent quarter for a weighted average interest rate of 2.4%. The following image shows how changes to Genuine Parts' weighted average interest rate would impact the company's dividend safety as measured by free cash flow. As you can see, General Parts' weighted average interest rate would need to arise above the 8.4% level before its dividend would no longer be covered by free cash flow. Because of this, we have little concerns about the impact of the company's debt on Genuine Parts' dividend safety moving forward. Looking out over a longer time horizon, the dividend appears slightly less safe. Genuine Parts generated $47 million in interest expense over the first half of fiscal 2019 for a weighted average interest rate of 2.4%. Normally, we include an interest rate stress test in these analyses that shows how much Genuine Parts' weighted average interest rate would need to increase before its dividend would no longer be covered by free cash flow. Unfortunately, Genuine Parts' dividend is already not covered by free cash flow, so we have excluded the stress test from this video. We reiterate that investors should monitor this trend closely moving forward. In conclusion, thank you for watching today's video, which performed a deep dive on Genuine Parts' current dividend safety. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video which will help more people discover Sure Dividends investor education efforts. If you're interested in learning more about our systematic approach to dividend growth investing, visit our website at suredividend.com.